from perfect powder to slippery streets. Winter weather plays a big role in how Idahoans go about their lives during the months of December, January, and February. And while it's nearly impossible to pinpoint exactly what the next three months will bring our way, we do have a general idea of how this winter could play out across the Northwest. So we're in an El Nino. Jay Breidenbach is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service here in Boise. He tells us we're trending away from the cooler, wetter winters we've had for the last several years under a La Nina pattern. We had 32 inches of snow in Boise last year. And toward an El Nino. And that actually favors warmer and drier than normal uh, conditions across the entire Pacific North Northwest, including Idaho and the Boise area. But how do we know we're heading into milder, drier El Nino? It all starts way out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean with a recurring climate pattern called the El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO. It's one of the most important climate patterns on Earth due to its ability to influence temperature and precipitation across the globe. The ENSO pattern is always in one of three states. El Nino, the warm phase, La Nina, the cool phase, or or neutral. In a normal or neutral ENSO pattern, sea surface temperatures in the central Pacific are close to average, and the ever-present trade wind, which blow east to west, push warm surface water westward toward the coast of Africa. So a La Nina occurs when those sea surface temperatures cool and stronger than usual trade winds push an abundance of warm water to the west, allowing cooler water to surface in the eastern Pacific. La Nina tends to create colder, wetter conditions for the northern tier of the country. Think more snow, a la Snowmageddon of 2016-2017, but also brings drier and technically milder weather to the south. The setup for El Nino and its subsequent impacts are just the opposite. In an El Nino, warmer than normal ocean surface temperatures combine with weakening or even reversing trade winds, and that allows warm water to migrate into the eastern Pacific. Ultimately, that buildup of warmer water causes the polar jet stream to hang out much further north than it normally does, keeping frigid Arctic air at bay, leading to generally milder and drier than normal winter weather for us here in the Intermountain West. This year's El Nino is considered strong due to sea surface temperatures being substantially above normal, and it's expected to stay strong through the 2023-2024 winter season. For all you snow lovers, though, don't worry. Idaho will still get plenty of cold, wet winter weather. We just don't expect it to be as cool or as wet as the past several years under La Nina. You know, we have, oh, I think it's about a 74% chance of, of fitting in that at least normal to above normal uh, category, but that still leaves some room for, you know, a cold, wet pattern. And remember, this is all an odds game, meaning there's still a chance, even with this strong El Nino setup, that colder, wetter weather could be on the horizon. They don't all work out that way. We have had, you know, if you look at the 82, 83 El Nino, it was colder and snowier <laughs> uh, here, so it's, it's kind of the odds that, that we're playing. Still, with climate scientists giving this El Nino pattern a 70% chance of coming to fruition, most weather experts would put their money on a generally milder, drier winter for the Northwest this year. As a skier, I'm always going to place my bet on, on cold and wet, you know, because I want it to snow as a skier, but that probably wouldn't be a good bet. So episodes of El Nino and La Nina typically last 9 to 12 months, but they can last for several years at a time like this past La Nina pattern did. On average, by the way, Boise sees about 20 inches of snow during a typical winter season. Four days into this meteorological winter, we're at 2.6 inches of snow in the city of trees.